Hey guys, Cars and Shenanigans here with another video. This is the first actual video that I've made for a while and the purpose of this video is to basically just go over new S650 leak, the new images of the front end and the interior, which I missed on the interior, which I think the interior is awesome, but we'll get more into that. Other thing is just I'm gonna walk you around and point out all the little things that I've added to the Bronco, just little touches. And I'll be making another video directly linking everyone and showing every single thing in more detail. I just wanted to do a quick walk around and show you guys everything. So let's get right into it. Make sure to subscribe. Leave a comment below on what you think about the S650 Mustang after I've shown you the pictures. And yeah, go ahead and debate it. So I thought for this I might actually show my face. It's, I, I know my face is probably around on the channel, but hey, it's my first official face reveal so that's pretty cool so just want to talk to you about the s650 mustang so i'm gonna show you the pictures in just a second my thoughts on it i like it it's kind of a s550 uh just bulkier muscular uh it's a little bit bigger but i like it i think it's cool and i'm excited for it i thought it would be more like a sporty maki type looking type thing but it looks like they're keeping with the s550 muscular look so I like it, here's some pictures right here. All right, tell me what you guys think, seriously. Just go ahead down into the comments right now. I don't care if you watch the rest of the video, actually. No, watch the rest of the video. You wanna see the rest of it. You wanna see all the little stuff I've done, but still, I want you to go ahead and go down after the video and I want you to comment down what you think about the S650. What do you think about all the little things we've seen so far? Not you'd be interested in actually buying it. So I am, I want to, I like it. I think it looks good. It's not what I was expecting. I know people are gonna hate it, but they hated the S550 whenever hers came out. They thought it looked like a Fusion, which speaking of which is a Fusion right there. <laughs> That's kind of perfect timing, but now they're calling it Ford Taurus, but Maybe they'll like it in the end. I think I, I like it. So I'm probably gonna be one of those people that likes it right off the bat. Also, do you guys think they're gonna do all wheel drive? Are they gonna have, they, I'm sure they're gonna have a, a hybrid, but will they have all wheel drive? I would think it'd be cool if they have a all wheel drive to rear wheel drive switch that you push and it switches it. They have that apparently on the Mach-E 1400. So maybe it's possible. Maybe they can have an all wheel drive hybrid V8 that you can push the button and it switches to rear wheel drive and you do burnouts all day. Who knows? I think that'd be awesome. That'd be the right way to go for Ford. So let me know what you guys think of that. Let me know what you think below. I'm gonna get my popcorn out and I'm ready to hear your thoughts and your arguments. And I hope to see some people that support my thoughts as well. But yeah, now let's get to the Bronco. So now with the Bronco, just a quick walk around. Again, I'm gonna make another video on all the little stuff, kind of linking everybody and just giving the proper shout outs. But right now, I switched the front, took off the uh, red R, and I made Cactus Gray stickers. These are from Sticker Fab. Sticker Fab is a Florida owned business. It's, I actually went off roading with him without even knowing at Lazy Springs Recreation Park here in Florida. And I saw him and I didn't even know it was him. It was the owner of Sticker Fab and they were there off-roading with me. So that was pretty cool. And they make excellent stuff. They made that. They made this right here. This is a cool sticker right here for your gas cap. Got that made. It's a sticker. The other thing I did was this Sasquatch. Even though I don't have a Sasquatch, I wanted the big foot on there. Uh, Sasquatch hood overlay from Decal Source. I'll link his Instagram account that's right off my top of my head i remember him which they did a very good job it's very nice up there now this right here i'll link the etsy shop that i got this from they did an excellent job on my custom emblem bucking wild man this thing is bucking wild i love it i love the it's like the outer banks which my this is the outer banks but it's the horse kicking up dust and then yep bucking wild you got it besides that i got the american flag the people keep on saying it's black widow which that would be cool but it's just Spider-Man. I'm doing Franco Bronco on Instagram's uh, side stripes. I'm gonna add two more to kind of have it more like his. I think I just like it. And uh, I did it myself, so they're not perfect, but from a distance, you can't even tell. So it looks good. Now this gets a lot of attention. I posted it on the channel before, but this is a bullet antenna that replaces that tall, weird one. By the way, let's go look here. I went ahead and matte black wrapped those, so that's pretty cool. But going back here, 
got this on Amazon. I'll leave the link below. Really, really cool and still works perfect, works fine. And then finally, this is my own custom that I got done. It's a Sasquatch fishing. It's cool. And this is actually really cool. Now what's cool about it is I'm trying to, I'm planning on doing a uh, website for cars and shenanigans where you can go and you can buy those. But here's the thing. You're not just buying it to buy it, even though it's pretty cool. You're buying it to win a custom done Ford Bronco neck pillow. And the people that made it for me, it's an Etsy shop. And they're the same people that made my leather seatbelt covers that everyone commented on my post, asked where I got them. I posted the link and he says that you guys went and you guys bought them and helped them out a lot. So I'm very thankful for that. Uh, and I am looking forward to giving away this neck, neck pillow right here. I'll show you right now. Here it is. The Ford Bronco Outer Bank style neck pillow. I've used this a couple times. Put it around your seat in your car. If you need to sleep in your car, just take a little nap. Go ahead and put it behind you. I have two of them on my own and I have this one. Maybe I'll give away another one, who knows? But it's awesome quality and it matches excellent with the interior of the Outer Banks. So very pleased with it. And excited to see if anyone will be willing to get this for their giveaway prize. Besides that, I've got my Matt Black Cars and Shenanigans Instagram, which by the way, go follow and then also subscribe to this channel. If I haven't already said it, I'm pretty sure I've said it a couple times. I got my Hoonigan plate holder, of course, and then Bad X Bronco, Bad Bronco Skeleton, matte with gloss, the actual skeleton gloss, and I got it exactly fitted where the OEM is. It's just it's a little bit bigger, so that's why it might look a little different. And then FGCU Car Club. Got a rep for my boys at FGCU Car Club. Love them, put on good meats, and take care of us. It's awesome, but yeah, she's looking good. Go ahead and do a walk around. It's crazy to see how far she's came from the first video. Which by the way, the reason why you should subscribe by pushing that subscribe button is just so you can go back and watch all my videos and also be notified of new videos. Make sure you press that notification bell. And I hope you all enjoyed. I, again, I'd love to hear what you think about the S650 and let me know what you think I should do to this. Should I do anything else? I'm, I'm thinking exhaust. I might have already bought something, I don't know. If you remember I did a muffler leak, I might have something come in and that's gonna make it sound like that just without all the vibration. So stay tuned for that and thank you very much for watching. Peace.